Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, it's really nice to meet you and lovely to have you here. Please consider subscribing and if you like this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. So today I'm going to show you how to fablon your kitchen cupboard doors and your drawers to completely transform your kitchen on a budget that's really quick, simple and easy and you can do it yourself and I'm going to show you how. So obviously as well, the, so the good thing about it is if you're renting like I am, obviously you're not allowed to just change your, your kitchen as in buy a new one and rip the old one out. You're not allowed to paint it and things like that. So this is just a, such a good idea um, to do it on a budget as well so that you're not, you know, spending loads of money on somebody else's property and you can rip it off at the end and you won't be charged for it. So this is going to be part one of my DIY series with my kitchen transformation. I will be showing you an end tour of the finished kitchen once it's done. Sorry to anyone who thinks I sound a bit funny, it is because I have a bit of a cold and yeah, there's no rest for the wicked, especially when you're a mum, so I'm just cracking on. Yeah, so let's get into the tutorial. So first things first, these are the tools that you're going to need, as well as the fablon. So you will need um, the actual fablon, which you can get from Wilkinson's um, and you can get it online as well. I will leave a link below. For anything that I'm using um, so that you can go and get it online if you don't have a Wilkinson's near you or they don't have your colour in stock. Sometimes I've found that I can't get the same one again for a while so it might be useful um, for me to put a link below. Also the tools that you need are these two. These, This is a set um, this and this one comes as a set. Again, Wilkinson, Wilkinson's do sell it, but um, I will leave the link below to an online place in case you go into your local Wilkinson's and they don't have it. You will need a tape measure. And so this is just like a standing blade, but it's a little one and it works really, it makes it so much easier just to use that. Then you will need a screwdriver at some point. This is the DC Fix. Um, Fablon contact paper whatever you would like to call it and I'm using glossy grey so yeah that's all that you're going to need so let's get into the tutorial of how you fablon your kitchen cupboards and drawers first of all you want to unscrew the handles and take them off you're not going to fablon with them on use a screwdriver not a knife like me Clean your cupboard door to make sure you get all grease and marks off so that the fablon sticks well to the door. Make sure you thoroughly dry the surface. Next, you need to measure out the fabron against the door, leaving it around an inch either side for the edges of the door. Then with a pen, mark using the back of the fabron that has a measuring guide to where you need to cut. This is really helpful on the back of the fabron. Now go ahead and cut it. Now turn it over so that the fabulon glossy side is showing, or whatever side it is is showing. Peel just a little bit at a time from the fabulon paper. Then stick it on. Get 
focus me on that is in that question start to smooth working downwards with a little bit of time as you ride and this is really really easy because the speed is working and the actual smooth just makes it so much easier as you can see here it's not going to work if there is any bubbles don't be scared to bring them back up a bit and smooth them out. Try not to make any creases. Keep smoothing until you are happy with it. over it again with the smoother just to make sure there is no bubbles. You can always use a hairdryer as well. Hair dryers work really well with getting any bubbles out. Then cut off any excess on the sides. I use the Fabron 67.5 centimeters wide and so yeah that's what I use. So I have a lot of excess on the sides and just to make it easy for me when I'm when I'm cutting paper and I need to make it smoother. I cut the excess. Make sure that the other side is fully dry. Start by getting your scissors and cutting little snips into the corners. This will make the corners so much easier and look so much neater. Then start picking up this one side and smooth it out. I do like to use the smoother just to make sure that there's no bubbles and it's not really kind of stuck, if that makes any sense. Then go ahead and take the other things in the application kit. I will link below where I get these from. But you can get them from Wilkinson's, but if you're just going to have them, they'll link below somewhere online. It's like a little mini standard load. And then go ahead and cut right and neat against the corner of the door. And this will just make it very neat. The other corner bits, just fold that onto the other side of the side of the door. This will make the corners very neat. It's the easiest and quickest way I've found to do it. And then go ahead and do it to all the other sides that we haven't done. Smooth them out with the smooth arms in the kit. This bit I find most satisfying. other bits of the corner just keep folding as you go round and if there's any excess I just sort of snip them off with either scissors or with the little standby bow that comes with the kit. I just snip it off the corners just to make sure it's very neat. So go ahead and turn it over and smooth out any bubbles that may have occurred on what is your finish cupboard door. Here is where you're obviously going to put the handle. I will show you in a minute where you put how you put the handle to the adhesive. Now we're going to move on to the drawer. You need a measuring tape. We're going to measure this one. I just put it on my knees just to make it easier. I have brackets on the back of the hand if you need to take them off. You can take them off, it will probably be easier. Then measure with the backing of the tablon. Mark it with a pen. And then cut it off. 
using the measuring pad so much easier because then you definitely have to do a straight line if you can just keep free hand with my measuring guide, which I still find very helpful for the D and fit. You will want to make sure you clean this drawer as well. I had already previously done it because I showed you what to do that in the cupboard drawer, so it's the exact same for the drawer. Then you want to take the fablon and stick it down. Same process as before, quick and easy. Get the smoother, smooth it all the way down, working downwards. It's a bit awkward when you have a drawer because it moves a lot, and like I said, I hadn't taken it brackets so it's a little bit more awkward for me because it kept moving but other than that it's quite quick and easy but I'll just put it between the legs and then it's easier. Work your way all the way down just like you did with the door smoothing out all of the bubbles and again you can use a hair dryer if you need to. I just cut off the excess there's a bit too much excess on the side Then again, snip the corners like we did with the cup door. And start folding up the sides, sticking it, making sure it's very well stuck. No bubbles, use that spoon if you need it. Again, with the other thing that comes in the kit, which is the Stanley blade, just poke it through and slice it right along. Folding those corners inwards like you see me doing. Make sure there's no bubbles. Try and make it as neat as possible. If you're not neat first time, it's fine because you can always go back and correct it. And that's what's good about the tip sandy blade. It just keeps up any edges that you may not have cut properly. Go ahead and do this through for the rest of the sides like you did with the cupboard. As you can see there, there is my um, brackets on the back. I couldn't be bothered to take them off, so I thought I'd just leave them on. And also, as you can see, there, it's very unneat on that side, but I do need it up. And that's what I mean by it's good with the sandy blade. You can just need it up at the end. Make sure it's really well stuck. And then I go and it all up. Move on, go over the back again. Now I'm going to show you how to put the handles back on. So obviously you get the screw, you get the handle, you put the screw through the back into the hole that was previous there, previously there. You'll then see the little ridge and then you get like a standing bay or knife or something sharp and you just poke it in the hole and then pop there goes the screw and you do the same for the other one so that it's nice and neat pop on the um, handles screw them up and then you just screw them screw them up <laughs> So if there any bubbles you may have seen that have so that's going to go and conclude today's video guys i hope that the tutorial helped you if you have any more questions or need any help please comment below make sure that if you haven't already if you've got this far please subscribe and give it a big thumbs up if you like the video i'll see you on my next video
Bye.